It's July 3rd, and Thea and I have five days off. We're taking off to North Central Idaho to go backpacking in the Seven Devils Mountains. So this is going to be uh, a trip without the goats, without the dogs. It's just everything we can carry in our backpacks. Test of all of our equipment that we're planning to bring on our Pacific Crest Trail. Quick stop in Grangeville to get uh, gas for the car and apparently gas for us. How are those nachos? <laughs> and where else in the country except Riggins, Idaho, can you get elk tacos? So, gotta love Idaho. We're up in the last couple of miles before we get to the parking area for Seven Devils. Almost there and happy to see that there's no snow in sight. This is our first view of the Seven Devils and there is some snow up there. When we left Riggins the temperature was 76 degrees but right now it's down to 49. So welcome to July 3rd in the mountains of Idaho. We're on the trail. Here we go. It looks like the sign's been busted in half, but uh, Hell's Canyon Wilderness, Wallawa Whitman National Forest. Okay, and on, on this side, Horse Heaven's 11 miles, and Windy Saddle is just one mile. So. We've got a mile! <laughs> oh, we've got a, yeah, we've got a mile! <laughs> wow! first bear a couple of minutes ago. Um, he was actually pretty far away, probably 300 yards. Looked like a pretty big boar, solid black. It, it made me glad that I had binoculars with me. Had wondered if they were worth the extra weight, but you see something like that and it's really cool to be able to sit there and look at it for a few minutes and watch it. Yeah, that was cool. And speaking of bears, we came around the corner and saw this right beside the trail. Interesting, you can see where I peeled the, the bark, big strips of it all off the side of the tree here. He's trying to get the insects that are buried in the bark. Anyway, yeah, there's a, Long yeah, you got bark all over the place, but definitely bears in this area. Stopped to make camp for the night and you can't really see it but right where's my finger oh good god that's horrible right there uh, it's not gonna work anyway is a mountain goat it's the uh, white dot right in the middle of the screen so that's pretty cool how many places can you go backpacking and see a mountain goat from camp day two um, we we're just getting started out. Last night we found a really nice campsite close beside uh, a creek. Um, so that was really nice to have water. And today we're going to try and make 
Well, we don't really have mileage, but we know that there is a spot coming up where we're going to have a nine mile water carry. So we're going to have to hike at least that far between water sources. So. found this monstrous creature. I'm trying to share her lunch. Yeah. Check. Whoop. Great focusing job. Come on, autofocus. There we go. There we go. Okay. Which way does the trail go from here? Way up there in those rocks. <laughs> yeah. No problem. Kind of rocky right in here. Here's a look at this nice smooth hiking trail we're on right now. If you can't break your ankle on this, you're not trying hard enough. getting our dinner started. We uh, decided to call it a night when this nasty rainstorm came rolling in and the wind picked up. But uh, we've got a fantastic view right up here. We're sitting up in, in a saddle, which is literally the only flat spot on the map for the next two miles. Another view of our camp for the night. Uh, set up here tiny little flat spot in the grass right next to a big marsh full of skunk cabbage and uh, a little pool of water. It's a tiny little spring here but it is water. And we just hit a pretty nasty snow patch here. There's the trail right there. And the trail comes out the other side of that little patch of trees and it goes around the corner where there's more snow. So we climbed up above the patch here and uh, we're going to try to go down pretty much through those trees and get on the trail without losing our shit down that way. So we made it through this big patch, trail up on top there. We end up going all the way around and coming down this chute right here down to where we're sitting right now. But then we got to go across this slide, which probably doesn't look that sketchy on camera, but it's uh, it's probably, I don't know, 75 degree slope. So if you slip, it's going to hurt when you hit the bottom. Whoa! Okay, we made it across there. And again, I know that the video is not going to do this justice. It doesn't look nearly as terrifying on film as it did 
in uh, in person. But thank God for micro spikes. I would not have attempted that without those. Down this mountain has been nothing but solid rock jarring our feet and knees. But this is where we just came from. And up there where that snow is, is the uh, nasty patch we had to cross through. If I can zoom in enough, you can maybe see the tracks going across there. Um, anyway, haven't seen any other backpackers. I was kind of hoping to see someone else try and come through there so we could watch them die. site at Mount Baldy where we spent the night last night. Actually a pretty nice campsite although a few too many mosquitoes for my liking. But uh, whoa what the fuck does that mean? Airplane mode turned on. Why the fuck would it? I don't give a shit. Stupid thing. Well, there's Mount, Mount Baldy, I mean Lake Baldy. Um, can't see it well through the trees and it's like the sun shining on it, but uh, it's a really pretty lake. Do you agree, hiking companion? I told you to put more sunblock on. Now look what's happened. You got a sunburn. <laughs> 